Well, it's the day of our closing assembly. There's no one here. I'm standing in the gym all by myself. Today's the day that we have our closing assembly and our celebration of learning. We know that you're going to be celebrating with us from home, and we're glad that you've joined us today. We want to especially acknowledge our graduates. They normally come after graduation, even for our closing assembly, and we really, really miss them. Graduates, we will miss you next year, and we promise that we will have a graduation ceremony to honor you. Please know that we are praying for you. As Cairn Christian School this year, for the very first year, our theme has been Lead the Way. And boy, we had no idea last September how that would unfold, did we? You certainly, as students and as parents, have shown how to lead the way in God's world. Please join me in a time of prayer at the beginning of this assembly. Father God, we thank you for gathering your people. We thank you for bringing us together as a student body and as a community of learners and a supporting community of Christian education. Thank you for Cairn Christian School. Thank you that we are a place where students are inspired to learn and to love and to lead in your world. We pray a blessing upon our time together. We also pray a blessing for each of our students, Lord, as we move into summer mode. Keep everyone safe, we pray. Bless our time. Be with us as we share a celebratory time together over the next while. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Typically, we have our celebration of learning a little bit earlier in the year, but this year we did something a little bit different. Our students have been working on June projects that they've been doing at home, and you may have seen evidence of that already. We're going to spend the next little while exploring how our students learned and what they learned while they were doing their learning at home in preparation for today's celebration of learning. Hello, Karen Christian School students and community. I want to welcome you to our year-end celebration of learning. This is our first year, if you will remember, as Cairn Christian School. At the beginning of the year, we changed our names. And I just wanted to go back and uh, remind you and talk to you a little bit about what that meant again. Cairn Christian School, we're built on the picture of a monument. And a monument is there, we know from Joshua, as a, a reminder to the children of God or the children of Israel that the, of the mighty acts of God so that their parents could point and show them and remind them what God had done. God loves them and takes care of them. God loves you and takes care of you. And so in Karen Christian School, you are loved. A Karen is also a placemaker. It is showing the safe or best way to go along a journey. This in some way points into the best and safest place. It's our learning. When we go and we look and we scan the horizon for a Karen, we are learning more about our journey forward and from people who have gone there before us. It's very important to learn. And also, if we look closer, you already know this too, but uh, our logo is also a pathway forward. It looks like stones forward in a path. And that kind of rounds out the meaning of a cairn. It's a pathway forward. It's adventure. It's actually leading forward onto the next part of our journey. This project season at the end of the year 2019-2020, we took projects and they were meant to inspire you to inspire you to think beyond yourself and your work for your teacher this isn't just something to complete as an assignment but for you to work for the world and to work for others to take what you've uh, learned through the year and to apply it now if you remember at the beginning of this i talked to you about pentecost and pentecost is where god sent uh, a replacement when Jesus went back into heaven he sent a guide the spirit and the spirit is in you students of Karen Christian School and in so doing because you have the spirit to lead the way 
you also can lead the way. And now in this celebration of learning, we get to share with others a celebration of your learning and of your growth. Karen Christian School students, we are proud of you and we are proud of the work that you've done this year. Join me in reviewing today what we've noticed and what you've shared with us and what you've shared with the world. Hi Malachi, today I'm going to read you Pick the Stinker by Aaron Bladley. Pig was a pug, and I'm sorry to say, his personal hygiene was far from okay. The book that I'm reading for my buddy is <coughs> The Bouncing Bears. Thank God for good health.
good to make something to show my neighbors I care. It made my neighbors happy and put a smile on their faces. I showed kindness, love, peace, and joy. I like to do good deeds because it makes me feel good and others feel good. Hello, today I'll be interviewing my Aunt Angela for my Leap Away project. Question one, what have you been doing to keep busy? I have been gardening, I've been reading lots of books, I have a two and a half year old girl that keeps us busy with all the activities that a two and a half year old wants to do. How has COVID-19 changed your life? Because I decided to not work and to continue school. Taking a lot more care of yourself. Longer lineups. You have to distance yourself and you always have to be aware of your surroundings and washing your hands. So I um, how do you feel about social distancing? I don't feel good. I don't like it. Uh, have you found interesting things to do? Yeah, I draw, build Lego. so that my students can still have their classwork and how to... Hello, this is my sister, Sanya, and she's going to help me with my project. Do you miss your family and friends? Yes. Are you scared of the virus? Um, not really. How has COVID-19 changed your life? Um, I can't see all my friends. How has COVID-19 changed your life? Uh, COVID-19 hasn't changed my life specifically, but the restrictions from the government have. Have you been scared during the pandemic? Uh, scared? No, I wouldn't say scared. Uh, you know, because you know, as, as, as believers, right? Uh, the Bible teaches us that uh, we have not been given the spirit of fear. Right, for the love of power of the sound mind. How has COVID nineteen changed your life? I do not like responding. <laughs> we we feel the sense of isolation. <laughs> People are walking and, and avoiding us. We don't like that. So the second question is, how has COVID nineteen changed your life? Yeah, having the kids home definitely for school has been the biggest change for us. And then working from home, not going to my office to do work. That How does COVID make you feel? The fact that you, you have to stay in place and everything um, is kind of locked down is um, a bit of a pain to some extent for someone who travels and likes to be all over the place. But you got to live with it. I mean, it's the first thing you'll do when COVID-19 is over. Mm, ask you guys what you want to do and then do it. Maybe go somewhere, Wonderland or, I don't know, the zoo. What do you want to do?
We'd like to take this opportunity to thank our volunteers. We have so many different people that help out at the school in so many different ways. We say a special thank you to Mrs. Diana Wheelhauer, who continues to help in our junior kindergarten classroom. Thank you so much, Diana, and thank you to all of the rest of you as well. We also want to thank our parents. You've worked really hard these last few months, and we thank you for the work that you've done to ensure that your children continue to flourish in their learning.
can't do it for you. There's a song written on your heart only you can sing. And when you sing, enemies flee. When you sing, prison walls come falling down. When you sing, heaven invades the earth. So just begin to lift up your hallelujah. Raise it like a banner. Raise it like a flag. students, we want you to know that you are made for a God-given kingdom purpose. You are so loved. You are a special gift from God. You are valuable. You are really awesome kids. You are full of gifts and talents. You are created by and loved by God. You are capable of doing amazing things. You are always blessing others. You are full of compassion. You are cherished. 
You are joy givers. You are filled with gifts yet to be discovered. You are difference makers. You are accepted for who you are. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are our pride and joy. You are inspiring and so creative. You are the shining light. You are curious individuals. You are our heroes. You are God's masterpiece. You are the monuments of God's faithfulness.